All right, good afternoon. Um, let's say the Lord's Prayer together, please. Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Now we got a shield on. I wanted to touch base on extracting the log out of our own eye. And not worrying about the thorn that is in our brothers or sisters. Um, you know, it's to my belief that we should be worrying about ourselves and salvation first and, and foremost. And um, to identify that and to bring that to light. I was reading 1 Thessalonians 5, 8, where it says, But let us, who are of the day, <clears throat> be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, <clears throat> and for the helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we be awake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye do. I'll stop right there. You know, he says, uh, he says, put the breastplate of faith and love and the helmet, the helmet of hope of salvation. Uh, he, he, he didn't call us to wrath. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. It's pretty plain. It's pretty simple. You live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. So, you know, I, I know uh, how hard it is, how difficult it is when we have a government that is evil. Uh, which wicked men are um, doing evil and doing the will of Satan and not the will of God. But we're to trust in our Lord Jesus Christ and in Him seek salvation. Remember, seek the kingdom of God first and then all things will be given to us. So uh, you can rest knowing that Christ is coming he's going to sweep his threshing floor he's going to separate his uh, wheat from the shaft and he is going to do it and, and remember also that uh, all glory goes to God he's a jealous God he is not going to share that and um, he'll repay he will repay. We're not to. Let us just pray. Let us pray for salvation. Let us hope in Christ. Let's put that, put that breastplate of faith and hope in Christ, in love. And let's love one another. That's all we got to do and uplift each other and encourage, encourage each other. Encourage each other by 
acknowledging, acknowledging Christ as our Savior and that he will do these things. He said he would. He's never gone back on his word. So let's listen to him and obey him and seek salvation. Um, yeah, all these worries, there's no trouble. There's no trouble anywhere. If you're in Christ and you believe in him, you don't have to fear any of this. You know, God hates, um, he says, I believe it's in Proverbs, that uh, uh, an uneven scales are an abomination to him. He hates them. And that's what the bailout was. It's uneven. It's unfair that uh, Wall Street get, gets bailed out and, and the citizens of this uh, great nation um, don't. But be assured, God is going to correct that. And and those who uh, uh, wanted riches, well, they're going to get them. They have them. But that's all they're going to get. That's it. Truly, they have received their reward. But we're going to be rewarded as well. And those who laugh now won't be. You'll be laughing. And it might be that you've shed a lot of tears, but I assure you, God himself is going to wipe them tears dry. And you'll be laughing before it's all over. And uh, it's for eternity. Eternity. So... You know, our life is short. If we go through troubles and turmoil, whatever, um, and know that in the end, we're going to be saved. God is going to save us. And He is going to. He is able. He made, he made the heavens and the earth. He made the universe. He made everything. There is not a thing made that He did not make. So I encourage you to keep your faith, keep your hope, keep your love. Don't let it be plucked out of your hand. Hold on to it until the end, until the end of your life. Always hoping and having faith in Christ and his salvation. He will save us. He's going to. These things that are being that are taking place right now have already been prophesied in the Bible. God has told us this. And he has told us the outcome of it as well. And we must believe him. We must believe him. If we don't believe him, then we're calling him a liar. Do you really want to call him a liar? No, I don't think so. You know, Hell's a terrible place, and if he don't want anyone to go there, then we shouldn't either. If we're truly following him, then, then we should be doing everything in our power to call people to trust in him, to repent of their sin, and trust in him. And if you really trust in him, then you're going to do what he tells you to do. Okay, well, uh, I got one minute left, I'm going to wrap this up, and uh, yeah, I love you brothers, I love you sisters, go with Jesus, trust in him, put your armor on, the armor I just read, if you need to read it again, then by all means, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5, 8, and uh, It'll tell you, plain as day. My Bible should be the same as yours. And if it ain't and it varies a little, uh, that's all right. Because I'm sure that uh, the meaning and interpretation thereof is the same. Okay, well, you guys have a good day. God bless you.